Hello everyone, and welcome to Decisive Campaign's Case Blue with Miller Cucumber. Yeah, I decided to do <coughs> another playthrough of one of the Decisive Campaign's games. I hope this is uh, audible. Anyway, we're going to go into the uh, regular campaign, Case Blue Short, um, because the full one would be a bit long. Um, and uh, we'll see what we, um, we end up with. So here we go. Alright, so here we are. I've left everything on default because I generally like playing with things on default. So uh, let's have a look around the map, shall we? Um, we are Franz Halder from Germany. I, I could play the Soviets, but that's fairly difficult actually in this game. And uh, we are going to start our attack here on the, uh, on the line here. I'm just gonna check the menu. Or any kind of option to turn off the music because it, as much as I like the music sound here we go pop here we go it's actually set to 50% which is kind of loud uh, but I find it to be preferable so here we are um, all right so decisive campaigns is a, a game series if you haven't watched my other series where you basically play a play a hex based war game whilst being bombarded by all kinds of interesting uh, decisions you need to make along the way. <clears throat> in this case, um, yeah, in the um, Barbarossa game, you actually get like a, a an area where you uh, have let's pop this down um, where you have reputation to take to uh, to take into account. We don't have that here, which is perfectly okay. I mean, uh, our commanders could still gripe. And could still give us choices and whatnot. They might. Um, we are going to um, push through the line and get to Stalingrad and then eventually Baku, which is what is Kazakhstan, I believe. It's like way over here, down here somewhere in this corner. Down, way down here. It's like way off. Look at that. It's right here. That's where we need to go. The Baku oil fields. That was the goal uh, for the Germans. Well, eventually. Um, to um, to grab that and uh, become the masters of the oil, yeah. Okay, so we've got a significant Soviet force here. Uh, you have to imagine Barbarossa had been going on for months, and the Soviets had finally decided, well, this is enough, and uh, had stopped the Germans from taking Moscow uh, and actually counterattacked. Um, so we're looking at a line that's actually trying to push into us. Um. Interestingly enough, there are weak spots in this line, um, as you will see in a moment. Ooh, zooming in is not what I wanted. Alright, let's have a look and see if we can surround this army here at Livna, Livni, whatever. Um, we're heading towards Voronezh. That's sort of where we want, want to go here. <clears throat> So anyone uh, new to my channel, I play a lot of war games. I do war games both in the real-time strategy kind of type of games and also this stuff. This is sort of more like board game, like original hex-based war games. Uh, I actually have a playthrough going on right now uh, on this area, on the Voronezh area. Um, and um, it's it's the, uh, the DLC for Operation Star, the... Um, uh, Shilovo campaign for uh, Gravity Team Tactics, Gravity Team Tactics Operation Star. Good grief, that's one big mouthful. Used to be Achtung Panzer, by the way. I don't know why they changed the name, but they did. Um, okay, so this 121st group seems to be a little bit alone. Let's get it under attack, shall we? List, and we're not going to use our. Ooh, are those all mobile forces? Motorized divisions, yeah, okay. I guess we'll use the um, 9th Panzer Division. Okay, 400 infantry. These are reserve units, are they? Yeah, we'll give them some uh, some some uh, some support. Why not? Yeah, that's definitely the reserve units, it looks like. Uh, we're going to mix it up a little bit. There we go. And, um, yeah, we'll do this. It's fine. Attack. Okay, they retreated. We lost a couple of units there, but not many, which is okay. I guess what we could do is use some of these troops 
to move into this gap. Can you not move into that gap? What the hell? Oh yeah, we need to say they are moving. <laughs> That's right! We need to do that! I forgot about that bit. Okay, I'm gonna move this whole group there. Every single one. And actually, you can move all the way out there. That's perfect. Uh, move. You can actually attack from there. That's even better. Okay. Yeah, let's let's do that. Why not? You will also move there. Uh, you can actually move the whole group if you want to. Attack. Uh, who are these units? We have a unit, actual unit pane here. Yes, right. I forgot. Four hundred men. Twenty like two out two thousand men. And these are five hundred men that are left. Okay. In that case, I am going to include these guys. All of them attack. Oh wait, that's actually not what I wanted. Crap, they held out. Um, list. Yeah, we'll do both of these then. <laughs> attack. Broken. Neat. They're gone. They are gone. And we can now start moving in with the tanks and cut them off, which is exactly what we're doing. So, yeah. Broken through. I love it. Let's get all of these. Uh, no. Uh, you can still attack them from this side. So it's sort of an interesting choice we have to make. Yeah, let's move with this one as well. We have some concentric stuff going on. And we'll move these all the way out here. We'll get these troops in. These are our infantry units. All of them should move. We have these engineers. Um, and obviously these headquarter units. You can see the uh, the... Basically the supply overlay here, which is nice. Um, what can we do with this? Can we attack you? That would be nice. I mean, you've got, what, roughly 3,900 men here, yeah? List? No, no units can attack you. It's okay. That's fine. What about you? List? Nope. What, no units? Really? Oh wait, that's still the other one. <laughs> it's like, what? No! List. Oh, that's a lot of units! Okay, well, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. No, Jose, no. N well, actually, we might be best off doing that with this particular setup here of motorized infantry units. Yep, there we go. Attack. Crush them. Oh, yeah, that lost us a little bit of guys. Um, not much though. And there we are. We may, we're making, we're widening the hole, if you will. Widening it. That's what we're doing. Can you still attack? Is that still, an, no, you probably can't. I'm gonna say, where are these tanks all gone? Have these tanks all moved? Wow, really? You can get all over there? Really? No way. What about you, you? You can still move. Okay. Well, you know, maybe you should. Maybe you should move. Okay. It's maybe not. Can we... Eh? Eh? Oh, this AI had this... The way you move these units, it's so difficult. Okay, you could still move. But I'm willing to bet that you won't, don't want to. You don't want to, do you? Uh, okay, yeah, these are infantry. I'm, we're just gonna leave them there. It's fine. It's fine. That's, why don't we whip around the flanks with these guys? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's what we're doing. Okay, I'm gonna move all of you here. With your panzers. All your schnitzel. I belong to us. There we are. Attack. List. Yep, all these Panzer units are attacking. Yep, yeah, that's fine. 
it's yet used them all. Attack. Wow, they held out. That's pretty interesting. Not did not expect that. I guess we could attack there. List. Sure. We'll use all of you. And I want these units in there. Go. Attack. Oh, they panicked. Retreated, retreated. Retreated obviously not being the right thing in this case. But I will uh, accept that. We could move in there. Kick the shit out of that unit, by the way. Uh, but no, we're going to move everyone up down here. All of you. Well, you should, really. Um, oh, that's 82nd? Okay. Let's see if we can panic them some more. Um, yeah. Why can he not attack you with those? What's going on? This is ridiculous. We're overstacking. Well, they can't take that hex, but, you know, they can crush the enemy, though. Broken, 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 retreating. There we are. We retreated with some of our units. But broken is, at least, it's gone. You know, it's gone. And that's what we're, we're counting on here. So, that's good. That's a good thing. Um, We're going to have to close this gap next. Um, these units are relatively weak. I'm tempted just to move with... Uh, oh, that's actually not what I wanted. At all. Oh, alright. Well, you're here now. It's fine. Let's get these troops in here. The Gross Deutschland Division. Ah. Ah. I should have known. I should have known. It's the Gross Deutschland Division. <laughs> I guess we'll move the Ghost Deutschland Division up the line. Yeah. Hmm. There we go. Bye bye. These are also Ghost Deutschland Division. There we are. Moving, whipping around the flank there. Um, now we're going to have to deal with some of these units. Can we ungroup them? Is that a, an option here? guess we can't oh man that's just that's a mess I don't know how I did this but I did it let's get these engineers to move as a group into town you know there we are they'll keep them uh, they'll keep them off I guess uh, and these guys should all move towards the line as well and I'd like to have you guys close as well there we go. Kursk. Wunderschnitzel. Okay, well. Huh, huh, I'm not sure what happened there, but it um, didn't quite go as I planned. What are these like? Guards? <laughs> they look like guards troops. Rival division, rival division. That's not a really strong flank there. A flank, I mean. Let's go and attack them, shall we? List. Yeah, let's use... Use all of these. Where are you? Okay, 25. That's 800 infantry. That's our reserve. Let's leave our reserve as actual reserve. No, we'll he use some of these units. Not all of them. Okay, we retreated from that. That's actually bad. We have Nebelwerfer? Oh my god, we have Nebelwerfer. What the hell? Okay. Um, should totally move to the line. Should have moved them initially. Uh, however, we didn't. So, it doesn't matter. We can still move in with these troops. Get these engineers to do whatever they need to do. Attack, list. We'll get uh, a nice mix of things. Attack. Boom! Nope, that didn't do anything. You know, they all retreated back from the battlefield. Okay. Uh, that's fine, I suppose. 
this uh, supply line uh, well established. We should get this supply line well established as well. So I'm getting them into town. There we go. <clears throat> That's fine. Okay. Well, that could have gone better, but we're sort of making a, a kind of an encirclement here. We have the uh, Fourth Panzer Army here, which I guess we can use to stuff the gap here, or not? Maybe, like, just maybe, maybe we can do that. Like, no. Uh, no, don't know if they're change the model of this unit. I don't want to. I always forget. Do we shift click, left click. I don't know. It's not very clear sometimes. Okay, it doesn't matter. I mean, we got this. Ish. I guess what we should do is use this uh, 387 infantry division and get it to attack one of these these beautiful 1600 men units and just push through. Yeah, that's probably what we should do. And we will, actually. Ah, wait. We can call in artillery. We can call in... We can do an artillery barrage. Sure, bombardment. That's a little silly. Uh, artillery barrage. Yes, we need to take out their RD. Okay. Boom. Oh. <laughs> well, that could have gone better. Um... Wait, you guys can still do something? Really? Airstrike. Sure. <gasps> we have a lot of planes. Look at that. Oh my god. Um, well. I should have known that. I didn't I had no idea. Huh. I would have bombarded them before I I even attacked the, I I'm very bad at this game. I'm so bad at it. It's amazing. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um we're gonna just sure. We're gonna just use Um distance. Okay, we'll use the one that are closest by. Kampkerschwede Gruppe. Okay. Henkel now one elevens. BF one oh nines. BF one on tens. BF one ten C's. Zerstörergeschwede. Jagdgeschwede, Kampfgeschwede. Okay. So the Zerstörergeschwede, I guess, is tank destroyer groups. And uh, I guess Kampfgeschwede are sort of like a mix. So we're going to use that. And I guess we'll send in some... Some of these. Yeah, let's do... The, blah, blah. Let's do that. And that. Attack. Oh, they actually... Wow, we retreated. That didn't do anything. We actually got some planes engaged and hit, I guess. Uh, nothing happened. Oh, wait. Uh-huh. Broken falls, broken falls. Trucks are pinned. Okay, that's nice. Infantry are pinned. We attacked, but it didn't do much. It looks like. Actually, they, one, yeah, well, one of our units. They, yeah, our planes retreated. That's acceptable, I guess. All right. Well, knowing that, that's a thing. I guess these are Hungarians. This, they are. They are actual Hungarians. Eh, they can hold the line for us. I'm gonna attack this hex and then be done with it. List. I don't want any of these Hungarians in here. I just want uh, our good friends here of the uh, of the infantry division. There we go. Bang, 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 bang. Yep, they're retreating. Okay, good. That's that helped. That helped quite a bit. Why don't we move in here next, and also move you one unit in here. Make sure we have them, you know, sort of surprised. Kind of wondering why, when, how, how are we going to maneuver if in any way? No. Can we ungroup these? That would be great. 
No, 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 no. Not strategy. No, it doesn't matter. We'll, we'll, we'll get to that at, at some point. Okay, we have, oh, we have motorized guys here. They can move as a group and they can move really far ahead of the rest of the troops. And I guess what we could do is fill that gap. Actually, we can fill that gap. Yeah, this is like a, an emergency little thingy in the Um, I guess we can have the Hungarians attack here. Uh, have to get the 45th uh, at the under attack here. That, that's actually not a bad plan. List. We'll have uh, we'll have you help. There we go. Attack. Do your best, Hungarians. Yeah, Hungarians, not not epically good troops, as you can see. Uh, which is okay, you know. They, they weren't historically, so that's all right. Uh, yeah, we'll move like this. Can we attack this hex one more time? List. Yeah, we'll use the uh, troops that are left to do the uh, rest of the attacking. Well, they actually held fairly well. Our Hungarians retreated. We actually have tanks that I actually don't suspect are as effective as they might be. But we'll use this. List. We'll go for a, an all-out attack here with tanks and see if we can push through that line. Yep, they retreated. They were not prepared to take the tanks. Good. Can we still move you? Yes, we can. A little risky, but risk is never a bad thing if executed properly. Can we bomb this hex before we do anything else? List. Okay, those guys can actually do a... And that doesn't do much. Okay, never mind. Um, actually, we might be able to bomb that from the sky. It's probably best if we do that first. List. Yeah, we'll do... Uh, we have a Stukakerschweder. That's really good. 90 out of 100. I think that's an excellent idea. There we are. That cost them some of their guns. Eh, eh, eh. Go. Attack! Okay, they panicked. Good, we panicked the units. That's always good. We'll use these engineers. And then we'll push through this area here. List. Uh, we can only use the engineers. Lovely. Let's not use the engineers for that. <laughs> what are these? Are these normal infantry? German infantry? They are German infantry. Oh, good. And these look like some sort of... Yeah, these are guards units. I am pretty sure by the looks of their icons. So these are fairly strong units. Let's see what we can do about that. And Jagdgeschweder, Stukakeschweder, Schlachtgeschweder, goodness. Not quite sure what Schlachtgeschweder will do for us, but Kampfgeschweder. Yeah, Junkers, 88, yeah, we'll attack, go. My guys, mix of things. Oh, they're actually doing damage. You know, that helps. Their field guns and howitzers got hit. But I feel that this might not be the best place to attack right now. Uh, although, these are regular troops. We've got another motorized division here. German motorized. But yeah. I I think I'm gonna wrap this su up soon. Although I'd like to finish the uh, actual turn, we have to be somewhat aggressive here. All right, let's see what happens. Oh, we can get three infantry units there. Eighty-six. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, there they held out. That's okay. That's acceptable. I guess they're behind a river, yeah? That might be it. That might be our problem here. They're behind a river. Um, let's go and 
Can we attack you with the with these units? Yep. How is that? Versus 50 out of 100 versus 77. That's probably not going to end well. So let's forget about that. What about you guys? There are three units here. Why not? See what we can do with that. There we are. Attack. Yeah, they retreated. Okay, they retreated. That's cool. I'm gonna say that is probably the best we can do right now with that. Um, I guess we should push in. Not sure what else we're gonna do otherwise. Um, hmm. What are these troops? 1200 men, 1400 men, 1300 men. They've got a lot of fuel guns. Again, maybe we should bomb this before we attack it. Uh, yeah. Kampfgeschweder, Schlachtgeschweder. Kampfgeschwader, that's it. Oh, we're doing some damage. We hit one of their guns. Didn't lose any planes, it looks like. Damage is the only thing we suffered. Excellent. Um, this is a pretty heavy position, though. Yeah. Let's list the attackers. Let's see, these are all regular infantry. We'll use these guys to do the attack. That's a reserve unit, I think. Throw in the reserve unit. <laughs> okay, we made two units retreat, one of our units retreated. That is that is fairly acceptable. Where did they retreat to? Okay. Can we do it again? There's two units there. Yeah, that's what I thought. So it's like, no. Let's push in with all these guys. I want to see some... Uh, there we go. Panicked. Some of them panicked. They're like, no! This sucks! And and you'd be right. It, it would suck. It would suck a great deal. There we go. And let's go in get this position. Let's see, are these... In any way, ready to receive another attack? Mm, that's a, that's an armor unit. Ooh, my goodness me! And what about these guys? Are these guys in any way ready to fight us? Yeah, they're ready. They are very ready. <laughs> I am a bit worried about how ready they are. Uh, let's get everyone in on this particular stack. They're weakened. Oh my god, that's way too much. It's more than we need. This this is probably our best bet. Attack. Ah, that's all we could do. Okay, acceptable. Uh, yeah. Okay, well, you, you can move in with that stack, which is fine. And you can't move. Nope. And uh, looks like we are now have a gap here. And that's an actual armored unit. Okay. What are, whoa, what are these dark... Units. Alright, these? Guards! Oh my god, these are guards units, again! Are they the same like these? Oh, these are NKVD, they, these are border troops, they're not guards! These guys are actually... I did not know! There's actually good reason to attack these! Let's not use the engineers. Oh, actually... Ha ha ha! Uh, what kind of verses do we have? 41. Okay, yeah, that's that's okay. We still push them back. And we actually pushed one of them back. Neat. NKVD. Yeah. Okay, well. That's good to know. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll just hammer away at them for a bit. It's fine. These are the dangerous ones. We need to be very much aware of these. If, in fact, if we can surround those units, that would be really, really good for us. So, I think, let's have a look. What kind of units are these? Do we know? Can we get units info? Or do we not know? I guess we don't know. Oh, wait, we do. Uh, 600 men, 600 men, 400 men. Ooh, that's a really small unit. 
Okay. You know what? That's all cool. Let's get these these units in there. Go. Attack. Push. Broken and retreating. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Well done, troops. Well done. We'll move with everyone. Okay. Not everyone could move, apparently. Wait, is it that unit? That's the unit I'm <laughs> trying to click here. Okay. Now we have these motorized units. We had them all along. I'm an idiot. Okay, well, we can cut off their supplies, basically. That's actually really good. What about you? Can you move along? No, not as a group. That's actually a bad thing. However, I think move along here. Hmm. Yeah, we would like to pour into their line. What about these guys? How many are them? Eight hundred. That's all. That's a fairly weak flank, actually. I'm gonna move my tanks up here. Yeah, after this attack, I'm gonna call it an episode. Because quite honestly... Alright, push in with attacks. Get them! That didn't do anything for us. And we lost a few vehicles there. Weakened them, but that's about it. That is about it. Go and attack. Breakthrough. No breakthrough. Okay. Okie dokie. Can we still use these? Probably. Oh, that's way too many troops. Panicked. We panicked one. And we still have this little gap here. Beautiful. Well, it's not going to affect us all that much. I think we're still good. We can get these guys to maneuver themselves inward, which is probably our, our best bet here. I'm thinking that is a, a very good idea. Let's get these mobile troops around, whip them around the flank. Exploit that gap. There we go. I'm going to leave it here. I hope you enjoyed. Please share the video if you enjoyed it and you think anyone else might. And um, next time, hopefully, we'll be seeing some nice breakthrough and pockets fighting and whatnot around Korotcha uh, as well as uh, our northern flank here and we'll finish this turn with all of this southern stuff near Rostov. See you then. Bye-bye. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you ever so much for watching. Please consider leaving a like and or comment. And please also subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thank you again. Cheers.